What's up, what's up everyone? Jason Flegel here with another chat GPT video. In this video, we are going to do an SEO deep dive using chat GPT. We're going to walk through the six primary ways that you can use the tools to optimize your SEO. Everything from website and blog post creation, keyword ideas and generation, meta descriptions, title and heading optimization, alt text, generating so many new content ideas and then also using that in combination with more analytical tools like Google Analytics, Google Search Console, Ahrefs, SEMrush, Neil Patel's Uber Suggest. This is a chock full video. It has so much value that you are going to get to improve your SEO. So let's go ahead and jump into this full video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Welcome back. So this is a very exciting video, a deep dive in really using and exploring ChatGPT for SEO optimizations. Done a lot of work in the space with very what recognizable brands have scaled content, millions of uh, organic views every month. So I'll actually use like a personal blog in this example to show you like how you can actually use ChatGPT. Recent video, I use ChatGPT for SEO and content marketing with some examples and use cases on my channel here. There is a lot more that I wanted to dive a little bit deeper in this video. One of my blog platforms was Converge. Converge is a blog platform I started a number of years ago, so it's where good news, good ideas, and good people converge. So on the analytics side, you know, I can see all the data here. I can see how many people are usually coming to the site in a month, around a thousand people a month. So it ranges from a thousand to two thousand people a month. Search Console and Google Search Console, I I can see how many clicks I'm getting regularly slowly because I haven't really focused on improving the site at all. It's been uh, seeing or added new content. It's been seeing a little bit of a downturn. <laughs> kind of wanted to explore using ChatGPT to see what kind of optimizations I can do on the SEO side of things or create new content. Let's talk about um, walking through some examples here. So uh, I showed you real quick the analytics view. I showed you the Google Search Console. Uh, and then I also recommend um, using a tool like SEMrush or Ahrefs to do a little bit deeper dive into the analytics side for some really focused uh, SEO optimizations. So this is a little bit more advanced than you know my other video talking about how you can use it for SEO con and content marketing. But let's walk through what this looks like. From start to finish, here's like an example of how I would use ChatGPT to come up with new ideas, new content to improve the SEO rankings of a site. So looking at the analytics here, again, there's not really any new content that has been added. So I know that I need to add new content. I can go over here to Search Console and I can look at what are the top queries that are giving me the highest amount of impressions and most importantly clicks. One of my top articles here is like tools, the best types of tool uh, tools to have in a toolbox. So let's go to impressions and see like if there's not very many clicks. Like here, the coordination sports, uh, I'm getting a lot of impressions, but I'm getting very little clicks here for what that is. So one of my posts here, the best sports for improving hand-eye coordination, that's an area I can definitely, like a post I can definitely improve on. Getting impressions, but I'm not getting clicks. What are some ways I can improve conversions? I'm going to copy this and paste it into ChatGPT. So I pasted this in the full article, um, copy and pasted it from here just to see what ChatGPT can come up with in terms of uh, SEO optimizations. And here it's saying use primary keyword in the title and throughout the post. So best sports for improving hand-eye coordination. Include secondary keywords such as hand-eye coordination skills. Add in more internal and external links to relevant sources. So there's not really many internal post links. You want to do internal linking back and forth as much as you can. Use images, alt tags to enhance the post. That's another thing. There could be a number of other uh, images to make this better. So one of the really important things here is when you paste in like this copy and ask it for recommendations, you can actually ask it to include these suggestions to rewrite the post. So I just asked it rewrite this post based on the suggestions that it shared, these nine suggestions. So now it is rewriting this post based on those suggestions. 
So here's what it came out with, with the optimization. So best sports for improving hand-eye coordination. I typed in, can you add in more subheadings based on the primary keywords of hand-eye coordination and sports hand-eye coordination? So you can take a look at some of the improvements that it uh, made here. So it basically added in an entirely new sections for the benefits of sports for hand-eye coordination down here. So it's pretty interesting to see what you can come up with here. Now you can actually take your keyword uh, tool in Ahrefs, you can use that tool to do the keywords explorer, or you can, if you're looking for a free tool, you can actually use Neil Patel's free uh, tool. So Neil Patel's Uber Suggest tool is a great tool for SEO optimization. So these two right here have the highest keywords, and then these two are like the second. So what you could do here is uh, let's copy these and paste them in. And now it is adding in the keywords here around uh, in within that same content that we just used. And then interestingly, it added in here some sports that don't require hand eye or eye hand coordination. So you can come up with different ideas and ways here um, using chat GPT prompts to just see and explore like what it will come up with. So now from here, what I would take is I would copy this, I'd paste it, you know, in a Google Doc. Now I have this as an article to collaborate with my team and then get it ready to go on the site. So that's a good example here. Just again, looking at like Google Search Console with a, a article that's getting a lot of impressions, but getting very little clicks. So I can try to um, improve that and make it better. With the tools in a toolbox post, just because I'm getting so many impressions on that, you know, I have an opportunity to continue to create more content in that space. I can come up with different blog post ideas. So I pasted in the 10 blog post ideas based on this keyword, which is my highest ranking keyword on Converge right now. So this is a great example of the keyword ideas and optimizations that you can get using ChatGPT. Now tools in a toolbox, if I wanna go further, I can take this and I can go over to like Uber Suggest or Ahrefs, use the keyword tool, type it in, and then I can see what are some of the other highest ranking keywords uh, for other platforms. So tools with the toolbox. So tools in a toolbox is my highest one, but the highest volume is tools with toolbox. So now I pasted in tools with toolbox to come up with different blog post ideas using that keyword. So here are 10 blog post ideas based on that keyword tools with toolbox. Now I've got 20 potentially different blog post ideas to come up with based on, you know, that uh, content. So there's a lot here that you can do based on just using chat GPT with a balance between technical SEO tools like Uber Suggest or Ahrefs or SEMrush and then using chat GPT for efficiency and like outputting the different ideas and coming up with that. Now, chat GPT can also come up with a full draft of all of these articles, um, or you can find other articles out there online and then take it and then repurpose those articles to make it even better. So here's an article from this old house. So you've got 11 tools to have in a basic toolkit. And then you can basically take this and use this content, copy paste it in ChatGPT, come up with different variations in ChatGPT, rewrite so much of this content and like optimize it and make it better. But as you can see here, just what, what we've been unpacking so far, ChatGPT is a great resource to like take your SEO improvements and optimizations 2x, 3x at least. So let's go ahead and move on to the third way that uh, ChatGPT can help with SEO. And that's like writing meta descriptions. Now I pasted in write title and meta descriptions for each of these 10 blog post ideas. So now it's outputting the title and meta description drafts for each of these blog post ideas. So as you can see here, you're not starting from scratch. You've got a great list to now work with. And then you can take this and then compare it to other competitors. Again, drop it into Ahrefs or SEMrush and make optimizations from there. So great tool to use for like the title meta descriptions and generating that as well. Uh, and then it can also, with the fourth way for SEO, is to use it to generate alt text for images. I asked it to create alt text options for four images per post for those top five blog post ideas above. And now it just finished outputting those different alt text images and the image ideas even 
uh, which I didn't even necessarily add in to create image ideas, but you've got options here now to work with. So, so the number five way that ChatGPT can be used to help improve SEO is actually in the titles and heading kind of generation. Now you saw that with a little bit of what we just did here with the sports uh, improving hand-eye coordination article. So it comes up with you know those different titles and subheading options that it can do. Um, so you can explore that a little bit further. There's a lot more that you can unpack there. Uh, just test out giving it the different prompts and seeing what it can come up with. The sixth way is generating new content ideas and brainstorming. So, you know, we kind of saw that here with blog post ideas, coming up with those different ideas. Um, let's go ahead and use a real world example. So here's one where I wrote this, uh, I created this video for how to use ChatGPT for SEO and content marketing. Let's go ahead and use ChatGPT to create a full blog post using this description, video description content. So I typed in create a blog post on the top six ways ChatGPT can be used with SEO using this content. So it outputted the blog post draft here. So you can take this, you can use ChatGPT to output more content for each of these different sections. I went ahead and took it and then I have a full article here for ChatGPT for SEO and content marketing based on this video that I'm going to be using. So this actually was all totally generated uh, by ChatGPT. So I've got an opening uh, paragraph here, powerful language model developed by OpenAI. So what is ChatGPT? So what is ChatGPT? Could be a good subheading here. There's another subheading there. I've got a title option here to use, how to use ChatGPT for SEO. Let's go back to ChatGPT, watch it come up with some variations. So I asked it to create more title options using that, copied and pasted it in. So I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna paste it in here as other options to use. Let's do meta description. Asked it to write four meta descriptions, get the most out of your SEO efforts with ChatGPT, unlock the power of ChatGPT for SEO. Now I can take these meta description options, paste it in here, do keywords, we should. So I asked, can you create 10 keyword options using this keyword, ChatGPT for SEO? And now I have a little bit more targeted prompt that I'm asking ChatGPT to come up with. So these are all really important keywords that I can potentially have in here. So I like to have these questions that people ask section when coming up with new content because asking questions are the right ways that people are gonna be searching for how to use ChatGPT for SEO or whatever kind of article or content you're trying to create. Let's go to Google and type in how to use ChatGPT for SEO. Here is a really important thing looking at the SERPs, the search engine results page, is you've got the people ask, also ask section. This is goldmine for coming up with those questions. So is ChatGPT free? What are the three types of SEO optimizations? These are important things where if, if these questions are relevant, you can go back in here and op add those questions in and make sure you work them into the different sections of your your uh, your article. So, and then I'm gonna go through each of these different sections and do the same thing to create those different subheadings, those subtitles. And then I will go through, or I can use ChatGPT, each of these sections to, now that I've got a list of my keywords, I can go and say, ChatGPT, can you optimize this paragraph using this keyword? and then add it in here. Um, and then I could ask it to even come up with different CTA options, the call to action options at the end. So this has been a little bit more of a deep dive, but you know, the main ways are you've, you saw it generate website content, blog content, you saw it generate the keyword ideas, optimizations using, again, the analytics tools, Search Console, Ahrefs or SEMrush, Ubersuggest. Uh, we generated meta description, titles, headings, alt text, uh, also come uh, coming up with new content ideas, keyword ideas that you can do here. So there's so much more that you can unpack here. You can even get into the sales funnel copywriting side uh, too. So please check out some of my other videos um, that I've been doing on ChatGPT. Have, how have you been seeing ChatGPT be used in your own SEO? I would love to kind of unpack that more. Drop that in the comment section down below. Uh, if you have an existing website that you would love 
love me to uh, kind of use chat GPT to optimize it. I would love doing that. You know, here is a good example. I'm using it now to optimize the Converge platform. It's all about efficiency here. You know, chat GPT is not a total end to end solution but it is an important way to save time. It can help you come up with different variations. Do not copy and paste content. Some of the larger search engines are going to be blocking it, like Google and Bing especially. You wanna make sure that you're generating this content and then customizing it, adding in different variations. Uh, you cannot remove the human element from AI. Um, so that's an important thing to remember. Remember to please like and subscribe for some of my more upcoming videos. I'm really excited to be releasing more AI machine learning tech related videos here for all of you. Any questions or concerns, please drop them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to keep moving forward and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.